Hello everybody and thank you for watching this short video in which I'm going to explain to you what you need to look for when you are purchasing a controlled drugs cabinet and also I'm going to explain the advantages of buying a pharmacy medical branded controlled drugs cabinet. Um, so to start with I'll explain the regulations that all of our controlled drugs cabinets conform to or surpass starting with the misuse of drug safe custody regulations 1973 and also our controlled drugs cabinets conform to the British standard BS 2881 1989 level one. And that is the standard for the storage of medicines in healthcare premises. So to start with, things you need to look for. Our cabinets feature a fully welded construction. That means around all the edges, all joins, they're fully welded. There's no gaps, there's no puddle welds. It's a nice full join all the way around the cabinet. Um, our cabinets are manufactured from two millimeter thick mild steel and as you can see they're powder coated in a gloss white this makes them um, it's a very tough finish it's a very resilient finish and it's a very hygienic finish as well whilst we're around the front of the cabinet I will start with the lock now these locks are Yale sourced six pin euro profile cylinders they come with three keys and as you can see here, they are what's called key retained. That means that when the lock is open, you can't remove the key from the door. Um, this is part of the, um, the requirements of the, the legislation they conform to. Whilst we're around the front of the cabinet, you can see here that all our CD cabinets feature what's called full length piano hinge. Um, this is, it features a, a welded hinge pin at the top and the bottom. This means that if somebody comes along and tries to remove the hinge pin, they, they can't really without serious force. In addition to that, if somebody was to remove the hinge pin or physically grind the piano hinge away from the door, we have what we call an anti-jimmy return inside the cabinet. Now that is, that is this feature here. And what that does, is that if somebody was to remove the, the hinge pin or the hinge itself, whilst the door is in its locked position, you wouldn't be able to remove the door from the cabinet. It forms a, um, a, a barrier at the back of the door that prevents the door from being returned. So it's a, it's a good additional security feature that our cabinets have. If we go inside the cabinet, you can see the mortise part of the locking system here. This features a mortise bolt of 14 millimeters of throw. Now this, particular lock that we use has what's called anti-saw features so if somebody was to try and saw away at the lock um, they wouldn't be able to uh, to get all the way through because there's features in there that prevent it from being sawn through then furthermore if we go inside the cabinet you'll see on this one that we have four anchor points two top two bottom the CD cabinet for ourselves will either have two or four depending on the size um, and you can see the reinforced anchor plates around each of the fixing holes. These are the, the right size for, um, for the, the requirements. Now, with all our control drugs cabinets, we send out the required amount of fixings. We use sleeve anchors. So if you've got four fixing points to the rear of the cabinet or the floor of the cabinet, we'll send out four fixing bolts. If you've got two, we'll send out two. Um, we do, this is a, a wall fitting cabinet, but we do also do floor fitting control drugs cabinets as well. Now, whilst we've got the door open, I'll demonstrate the additional feature of piano hinge on a control drugs cabinet. And that is that when the door is open, as you can see there, there's greater access to the inside of the cabinet. It allows the door to swing a long way out the way of the cabinet. So there's no unencumbered access inside. And the last thing to look for is this little label on the inside here. And this is the label that we put on our control drugs cabinets. It says, who made it? what standards the cabinet was made to, and whether it's wall or floor fixing, which in this case it's a wall fixing cabinet. And that is more or less it with a controlled drugs cabinet. As I said at the start, they conform to the Misuse of Drugs Act 1973 and the British Standard BS 2881-1989 Level 1. Um, there you go. If you have any additional questions or you'd like any of that explaining, please feel free to get in touch. Otherwise, thank you very much for watching.